Welcome back to another clip of uh, refueling and this time in the Hornet and we're going to refuel at around 22,000 and first we need to set up the Tachyon and in this mission I have set the Tachyon to 101 there we go and it's on the jankle, janky and put it on in the meantime we're also going to engage the data link and tack hand go on the tanker is approximately six nautical miles and off to our left and tanker is on channel three there we go we we'll contact the tanker Alright, 22,000 and 300 knots. Reduce that um, distance we have between me and the tanker. Going to give it a little bit of a burner. We have 5 nautical miles to go until we're there. Can put the fuel page. There we go. If you're interested to see how you can set up a pretty easy mission to uh, do some uh, air to air refueling, you uh, can check out the F 16 um, refueling uh, clip that we I did uh, the other day. Uh, I will link to it so you can go in and see because it's really fast, very easy to put up a new. Uh, mission so you can just fly around and practice refueling whenever you need to it's a skill that you absolutely need to have in DCS at least it's very important to me all right 2.5 nautical miles we're closing it's um, important not to close in close the distance too fast two nautical miles we are at 490 knots we are Closing rate of 116 knots. Can shortly start to reduce. We're going to coming on the left hand side of the tanker. Looks like the tanker is in the clouds, or maybe not. We'll have to see. Reducing the speed now. One nautical mile. Three fifty, soon three fifty. <laughs> All right, the F eighteen Hornet was the first aircraft I actually learned how to refuel from, and it wasn't easy. I have to admit that I was struggling quite a bit a long period of time until I finally broke the code and for me the code is to do the adjustment that's needed or unneeded before you actually need them so for instance if the tanker is going up or you are going up in relationship to the tanker you need to anticipate that before the movement actually and then of course when you're moving up you have it you start uh, moving the collective uh, not the collective it's not the helicopter uh, you need to move the pitch down before you reach the top of your ascent and uh, so all those small corrections needs to need to be done before they actually are needed I would say that is the most important thing uh, to uh, to understand when it comes to air to air refueling and of course that they are very small and uh, small and soft adjustments uh, and corrections all the time all 
All right, let's take out the probe. And we're going to move into position behind the tanker. I would imagine that you wouldn't come in directly behind the engines of an <laughs> aircraft of this type in real life, but this is a simulation, so we don't have to think so much about it. And I have the wake turbulence uh, off as well. So, we are clear to in contact. I'm keeping a focus eye on the drogue and on the aircraft and my relation to the aircraft as well when, once I'm closing in. So I'm not focusing just on one single piece. I'm uh, moving my eye between all the different areas of the, of the tanker. Contact. And we have a contact. And now all you need to do is to stay in position with micro adjustments during the complete time of the refueling and with a hornet you can actually just let go of the stick so for instance now I'm not holding the, my stick at all and there we're back me controlling the aircraft of course it's uh, much more easier now when the tanker is just traveling straight forward um, but the principle is the same if the tank if the tanker is in a turn for instance we are receiving fuel, as we can see on our, ref on our fuel page. And we have to do, and we're coming in to clouds. That's maybe even more exciting. And there we go. Disconnect. Taking in the drogue, or the probe, and we're going to slide under and over to the right hand side. And there you have it. Air to air refueling with a F-18 Hornet. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the back shortly.